he is still having a profound effect on us today. He's been a pioneer of the tow boards. He's worked with the, the current guys that have really created what we know in the writing ways we only think are cartoons. Building boards for Laird, Derek Dorner, and he still loves to shape. I heard secondhand the other day when I was making sure he got here, he was weighing up whether I could shave five boards and make this much money, or should I go to California and be honored? And uh, his good friend Gary Linden over there was telling me this story. And Gary told Dick, Dick, this is your moment. <laughs> you, you're going to come and then let the world recognize what you've done for us all. So it's my great honor to introduce to the Surfing Walk of Fame, Mr. Dick Brewer. Thank you very much, PT. So it, it's really an honor to be here. Uh, I went to Long Beach State College. I was in my senior year of mechanical engineering. And uh, I decided, hey, surfboards are, are such immature looking things compared to water skis. And I was a water skier and a surfer at the time. I knew that they'd eventually look like water skis. So I thought, what should I do? And uh, I went to Hawaii, rode the North Shore, and, and I, I didn't come back for my last year of, of engineering at Long Beach State. <laughs> but I loved Huntington Beach, surfed here a lot, Surfside Jetty, uh, Lanata Bay. I started riding big waves in California. Uh, then when I got to Hawaii, I was really ready for it. Uh, my friend Buzzy Trent, you know, the first big day at, at Waimea that we rode together, this is Dick. We're going to dive all summer. I go, dive? He came and got me at 6 o'clock every morning all summer and took me skin diving. And that year was, it, was the year that I, that I rode the wave in the endless summer where I was down <clears throat> two waves. And I realized, hey, Buzzy saved my life. Uh, but it, it's been research and development of the modern surfboard has been has been my goal. Should I just design a little piece of, a, of an airplane or do the whole thing? So I went to Hawaii, started Surfboards Hawaii with five unemployment checks in 1961, and I was off and running. And uh, after Buffalo won the Makaha in 1961, everybody wanted brewers. I was selling Dewey Weber's. Um, and um, so I built Surfboard's wife, Dick Brewers, and I've done that ever since. Um, the, the development of the modern surfboard has been my whole reason of living for the last 50 years. And it's really an honor to be here to see David Nuiva, Michael Ho, uh, people that helped me with the design of the modern surfboard. Um, that uh, it isn't just me, it's, it's the team riders, Jeff Ackman, Jerry Lopez, Reno Abalera, all the people that I've worked with, and lately Laird and Garrett McNamara have taken uh, tow surfing to, to, to a modern level. Uh, I've been working with Laird on some stand-ups and building a lot of stand-up surfboards, so we have a whole new field of research and development, um, not just the surfboards, but the surfing on stand-ups. And so life just keeps going on, and it's very, very interesting in my life. Thank you very much. And just to acknowledge Dick's comments there, also had a profound effect in this town on the Hawke brothers. And the Hawke brothers were students of Dick Brewer and a lot of beautiful hawks have been made in this town. Next up, Woman of the Year. Wow, I've known this girl for a long time, like about 40 years maybe, <laughs> getting close, 35 at least. So when I first get to uh, California, Huntington Beach, I get to judge the NSSA Nationals, one of the first things I did when I got here. And uh, this young girl from Laguna Beach, was on the rise. She won one of the first national championships for the NSSA and went on to 
with Tom Curran represent the USA in 1980. She won the women's world title and Tom Curran won the world juniors. And then the next uh, ISA world champs, we went to Australia on a legendary trip, which Tom won the world title. Alyssa got in the finals. But she was brave enough, I think she was 16 at the time, to continue on a trip to Bali. I was the chaperone, 15 guys and her. And we went to Bali, right? Can you imagine Bali in 1982, what that's like? And it's all, I'm in charge. That was a dangerous place to be. But we survived. And then Alyssa went on to a pro career. She was ranked as high as number four in the world. She was one of the pioneers of the women's pro tour. Competed in many OP pros out here. After that, she was instrumental in working on the ASP for the rights of women surfing and, the, and that the women, and, you, and if you go down to the beach today and see where the women are at, the women are ripping. And uh, they are surfing at a level that we never, if we go back to those days, thought were possible and she had a huge influence on that. And uh, as time's gone on, She's married an old mate of mine, Ian Cairns. That's why you see Swartstein's Cairns on the end. Her parents are in the audience today. Dick Swartstein has been involved in surfing culture. He was the first legal counsel for the NSSA and many other things involved with our culture. And it's my great honor to bring up Alyssa Swartstein Cairns as Woman of the Year. She still continues to compete at a very high level. She represented the USA just in the last month, winning, helping the team win the silver medal at the ISA Masters. And, uh, and the year before, she was in the finals. So she's still at the top of her game. And uh, it's my great honor to welcome Alyssa to the Surfing Walk of Fame. today. Uh, as PT said, I grew up in Laguna Beach, just down the road. Um, originally, I came from New York with my family, my father being a lawyer in Manhattan. We, we moved to Laguna when I was nine. I took one look at surfing and I knew that's what I wanted to do. A lot of convincing my parents um, took several years and they were very against it. Uh, even when I had my first high school championships at Salt Creek, they said, uh, if your heat's not done at this time, you know, it doesn't matter, you gotta come. I ended up winning the contest. I got invited to the Nationals here at Huntington, um, 1978, 79, and uh, won that event, and it just changed my life. I got picked onto the national team, competed um, here. I was a team member with Bud Lamas, Rick Fignetti, Tom Curran, all these people, great people in surfing, and um, it was thanks to kind of that first event here in Huntington Beach. It was a lot of change coming to a beach break with the pier and um, just that whole arena atmosphere. I was just used to the little reefs in Laguna, and um, so it was really different to come up here, even though it's like a half hour away. But um, it's always been special to me here in Huntington. As Peter said, I went on to a pro career, um, got to compete for years with Michael Ho, and it's exciting to see that he's got Coco, the next generation out there. And um, in the early days of the NSSA, as he said, I looked up to him and my husband, Ian Cairns, and Jericho Poplar, um, Lynn Boyer, Margo, all those girls that kind of set the pace for us. Um, and now it's exciting to see where women's surfing's at. Um, but I really thank my family. I've got my whole family, my sons, Malachi and Ethan here, my mom and dad, who Richard and Sandy, and my, my dad, they like did everything. They took me around the world for years and made it all possible. Um, a lot of sponsors out there that helped me over the years and just friends and everybody. So um, thank you everybody for you know, helping me get here. Bye. So that brings us to the final induction of the day, the surfing champion. 
Wow. It's funny, I was with uh, this guy last night and another guy over there, David Nueva. Um, you know that the three of us were in the finals of the ISA World Contest together 40 years ago. 40 years ago. And uh, Mike, I was a teenager, David was early 20s. That was considered old by us, right? <laughs> and Michael was like 14. And he got to the final on his little Ben Iper Swallowtail, along with Larry Bertelman and Hawaii Jimmy Blears, won. And um, we've been mates ever since. Adversaries at times. We've had some great heats. We've had many where I think he's got it up on me. He beat me more times than I beat him. <laughs> I was trying to figure out this morning how many finals we've been in together in those 40 years. I think it's about nine finals in 40 years because we got in the finals against each other in the Masters in France, and he killed me. And, uh, but it's really special for me because uh, his kids are here, Mason and Coco. They're both great surfers. Coco just won a heat out here this morning. Come up and introduce her dad. I know this is a big moment for her, so Coco, it's your moment. She today is one of the world's best female surfers on the WCT tour. It doesn't get better than that. And I've known her since she was just a little baby, being walked around in her mother's arms. I'm, I'm not as natural as everyone else that did a speech this morning, so I had to cheat. Um, I had a heat this morning, so I really am cheating. Um, many of you here today know Michael Ho for his accomplishments in the world of professional surfing, but to my brother Mason and I, he's simply dad. When Mason and I started doing contests and traveling the world, we'd always talk to our dad about the events we're going to, and he'd always have a really cool story about every country and spot we we're going to. But reading through this program and learning of his numerous achievements and impact on the entire world of surfing, I feel even more proud than I ever thought was imaginable. Mason and I would not be the surfers we are today, and more importantly, the people we are, without my humble and loving dad. Dad, we're so proud of everything you represent in and out of the water, and we're honored to share this experience with you. We love you. As Michael makes his way up here with a tear in his eye, I knew, I knew he wouldn't be able to control that. I'd like to acknowledge one of Michael's great sponsors, John Bernard's over here from Offshore. Changed Michael's life when nobody would sponsor us and, and he sponsored Michael for a very long time. And his brother, also a world champion right down here, Derek O, and Pipeline Master. everyone. First of all, uh, God bless Michael Peterson and Sean Collins and uh, their family that are very strong to come up here and talk. I don't think I could uh, do it as they did. But um, for me, I'd just like to thank all the people from Huntington Beach that's uh, helped out my family, my brother, my children on their surfing career. and. Um, I just like the, I got a couple, a lot of stories actually. I kind of like Simon's speech last year where he said he'd be a little bit better with a, a beer. But uh, uh, I think I'll try this a little early right now, but uh, I gotta, thanks Ben Ipa for my first uh, win in California on a Ben Ipa surfboard. Uh, PT beat me then, so I don't know about that one, but he did beat me. and. Uh, David Nueva, uh, and uh, I've, I've I want to thank uh, Richard Brewer for my first uh, contest. I got a first place in uh, Trestles, and I was very happy. Thank you so much. And most of all, I just want to thank everybody for coming. And yeah, thank you. Well, I 
hope you enjoyed the class of 2012. What an incredible class, eh? Uh, before I bring Don McAllister back up to close, um, we're really excited about the new footprint here because next year uh, will be the 20th anniversary of the Surfing Walk of Fame. Uh, we plan to have a, a pretty serious celebration in that on the sidewalk now there's over a hundred names. The greatest surfers and contributors to surf culture up to this date that exist. And next year we're going to invite everybody to come to celebrate the 20th anniversary. So I'm glad we did this because I have an idea that there'll be a few more seats up the street. <laughs> and uh, we're, we're planning ahead and thinking ahead. So uh, thank you very much. It's been my honor, as always, to be the inductor. And I will bring you back to Don McAllister, our chairman of the Surfing Walk of Fame. Thank you, PT. Uh, we have a, another guest with us here this morning. I'd like to invite up Assemblyman Alan Munsar. I think he has something for us uh, that we're very pleased to have him here. Thank you uh, to all of you. I apologize for being late this morning, um, but it's an honor to be here with all of you. Uh, I had a meeting in the city of Irvine, so I was dressed, dressed a little bit different. Then I came over here, but I look forward to uh, a, a lot more visits to Huntington Beach shorts and a Hawaiian shirt, but uh, my name is Alan Monsoor. I hope to represent Huntington Beach in the State Assembly in the state of California uh, after November, but it's an honor to be here today to present these uh, resolutions and certificates to all the inductees today. I won't hand them out all individually. I'll give them to Don to present to the inductees, but I want to congratulate each and every one of them. I want to thank everyone uh, who had a hand in uh, making today's event a success. So thank you, Huntington Beach, and congratulations to all of the inductees. Thank you. Thank you, Alan. You know, we wouldn't be here doing what we're doing for 19 years without the help of our sponsors that we have. Jax has been our major benefactor through the years. They started with Mike Albdamudi, who has now passed on, uh, and he had the dream to do the Walk of Fame, and it came about with six people originally. But today we have 11 other sponsors, which we want to thank also, that help us doing this. And we want to all invite all of you to make sure that you do help us this next year in having our gala 20th year we will have a new book out. Uh, many of you have our 10th year book. We'll have a 20 year book. And we'll also have a gala dinner at the Waterfront Hilton. So it's going to be a fun next year. Today was great. Thank you all for coming today and supporting us. And thank you all. So what did you think of the event today? Fantastic. Being on the showmobile with Main Street closed and having chairs for people to sit in, this really made it a first-class program. I mean, we've had a fantastic program for 18 years. But this 19th year, we really did it up good, I think. And we had wonderful inductees this year, and it's going to help us just be bigger and better every year. Next year will be 20 years. I think will be special for Huntington Beach City and Huntington Beach residents.